So the other day I had an interesting conversation with a new driver, relatively new. They'd been here just a few months. And um, they had asked him, you know, uh, something about realignment. And they didn't really know exactly what it was, but they, you know, they had an idea. They hadn't been to a realignment yet. And so I realized, oh, you know, now that I think about it, I never knew what that was either until I came to Walmart. It's not that other companies don't do it, but most don't. You know, you get hired and here's the position. You just show up here every day and uh, we'll see you in three, four weeks or whatever it is. Well, the Walmart, you actually get some choices. And so one of the, one of the things that we do is what's called realignment. And that is where everybody in your DC, let's say there's a couple of hundred people in your DC and we have different schedules to choose from. Well, it's not a first come first serve type thing. It's a seniority type thing. Although I don't think it's near as ruthless as uh, some of these other companies that I've heard about, you know, especially union things and like that, but to where, you know, there's nothing to choose from unless you've been there 20 years. <laughs> um, they're not that bad. Actually, there's quite a bit of choice, even as a new driver. So if you get hired on here, and you've only been here, I'm not sure if we're doing it every six months or every year, but um, it may be once a year at this point, I'm, I can't be positive. But if you're a new driver, let's say you've been here a year and it's time for a realignment, here's how it works. You get a sheet in your, in your box or in your folder there. And on that sheet, it has a summary of a lot of our schedules. I mean, we have everything from work five days, get two days off, and then, you know, five days on, five days off, or work six days, get three days off. I mean, these are just some examples. I don't know all the different things. And some of these programs are pretty desirable by people. And so people that have more seniority, they're probably gonna pick that, but you never know. And so there's also a booklet. I know our DC hands out a booklet that explains what that means. You know, what are these schedules? Like what's the details and that kind of thing. And so it'll tell you your longevity. Uh, let's say out of 200 drivers, your driver number 32, it'll say longevity number 32. So there's 32, 31 guys above you that can outbid for the position. But like I said, let's say you wanted a five days on five or two days off. Well, it's not just one position. I mean, there's so many variations. You've got Monday out, Tuesday out, Wednesday out. Every day of the week, you can be like your start day. So, I mean, you've multiplied how many five twos there are at that point. Um, then you've got, you know, 0600 out in the morning or 0800 out in the morning, 0900 or whatever it is, right? Um, I like to leave early. We have an 0600 and that's what I do. Five on, five off, 0600. And so there's a lot of choices. And so on the sheet, hopefully I can dig up a sheet. Hopefully I've been showing it to you throughout this video, we'll see. But on the sheet, um, like I said, it'll give you that, that those basic examples on the front and on the back, it has all these blank lines. And so, okay, you're a new driver. You're probably not gonna get a lot of stuff. So let's say I want Monday through Friday at 0600, uh, Saturday and Sunday off. Super unlikely that I'm gonna get that because it seems like most people like that. But like they say, you never know, just put it down anyway, because there's multiple blank lines. And so you put that down and then you think, okay, if I don't get that position, then I'll take, you know, uh, I'll try a Thursday out um, at 0600, uh, five on, two off. And so you just keep doing that. And then you're like, uh, well, wait a minute, you know, if all else fails, maybe I can do a six on and two off, you know, which has a depart day. And I mean, just every example you can think of that they offer. And like I said, generally there's a booklet or at least the examples on the front. And I think there's like 20 lines and you fill every one of these lines out. And then when the ops manager gets it, they look through and see who's gonna, you know, who can get what, who can't. So they look and they go, no, you can't get the first one that they've, you've been outbid on that particular time and position. You don't get the second one, you don't get the third one. And then, okay, let's say, okay, you can, the fourth thing you wanted, let's say the fourth thing you wanted was six on three off. And you know, there is no start day on that because it rotates. And so 
<coughs> on that sheet, it tells you a date and a time within 15 minute increments. So let's say it's February 28th, whatever, uh, 12, 15 PM. And that is when you need to call in to your ops manager or the particular one handling it. For us, it's Jeff usually. And you call him, so that's your appointment time. And then he will tell you, you know, yeah, we, I looked at your list and you're qualifying for this. You can do the 6-3. And, you know, the other ones you didn't qualify because other people outbid you. And I mean, even at that point, I think you could tell them, well, you know what, what about the one below it? I had, you know, like a, like a six, two or something. Was that doable? You know, they may be able to tell you, well, yeah, you could do that one if you want or no. But, you know, once you discuss it with them and figure out all the details, then that's it. And then like a month later, that all goes into effect and then you start that new day. So if somehow or another this conflicts with what you have going on now, that's part of the reason why you're talking to your ops manager. Cause he may say, well, you want to be Friday out, but you come home on Saturday currently. So what's going to happen is we'll just have you get off early that week and then you'll get your two days off or whatever. And then you can start your new schedule and then you work it out and then that's what happens that's that's basically how realignment works and it's not to say that you couldn't switch to different schedules or programs like when there's not a realignment but it's not what that's not what you commonly do but things have come up where they'll make exceptions or whatever but it's just not you know that's not when we do it we do it when there's a realignment so for those of you that work at walmart and don't know I mean, that's your basic overall on a realignment. And the ones that don't work at Walmart, maybe that gives you somewhat of an understanding of what we offer here. I mean, I'm sure other companies do similar things and the language a lot of times will be different. Like I know at some of these other companies, they'll say, oh, you're bidding for a position or something like that. Um, you know, it, it's kind of the same thing, but just a little bit different language. But I mean, how many jobs out there especially in the OTR thing, where you have any choice whatsoever. Generally, there is no choice. The choice is we hire you, you know, get here on Tuesday or whatever, get into your new truck. And then the schedule is you work all you can <laughs> and then we'll work days off later, you know, or work out your days off or when you get to go home. And so, you know, I know when I was in OTR for a little while before Walmart, to me, that was, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Like this is a never ending, like this will be my life living out here in the truck. And I hated it and it, it, it really depressed me. And so if you're in that position, and, you know, you got a pretty good record, you got at least 30 months experience. Um, this is one of the things you can look forward to. And it's actually pretty awesome. Like, I gotta admit, I, I do like it. I'm a creature of habit, so once I get with something, I generally don't leave it. When I first came here, I did the five on, I did five and a half on and one and a half off because I was all gung-ho, right? Then I started getting burnt out after six months or so, and I said, oh yeah, I can't do that anymore. How about, you know, five on, two off? So, and that was a Thursday out. Did that for quite a while. And then I just stayed with that for quite a while, and then, I finally decided, oh, I'm going to do the 6-3. And um, I got that and I stayed with that for quite a while. So, you know, and then finally went to, well, I'm at the five on five off now. Um, there was a different program back in the day. It was it, more than I explained, but it's basically like what I'm doing now. And so out of 17 years, those are all the spots that I've had as far as schedules go working here because now I just get used to doing something. I just like it. So, but you may be different. You may want to do something different every realignment. Like I want to try all these schedules. You know, I'm tired of not working on weekends. I want a position that'll give me weekends. There's people like that and it's totally fine, but you have a choice here. And so that's, you know, that's the main thing. So hopefully that helps. And if you guys have any questions, just email me at uh, dawn at 20plustrucking.com and I'll be happy to help. All right, catch you guys next week.